Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to share with you guys the top five mistakes that new Fortnite players make uh, due to the game becoming extremely popular over the last several months. There's a lot of new faces jumping online looking for help, uh, as well as a lot of you guys enjoy watching my tips and tricks videos, uh, whether that be to talk about something that you already knew but didn't really think a lot about. Um, or maybe bring light to something you, you didn't even know. So uh, hopefully by the end of today's video, I will have been able to help at least someone out. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into it. So top five mistakes the new Fortnite players make. So the first mistake is not paying attention to where nearby enemies are landing. This is something that I've been guilty of and I'm still guilty of. Um, I have a lot of problems paying attention to the beginning of the match. Um, I kind of jump out of the bus late a lot and don't really pay attention where I'm landing due to multitasking, you know, things like being on my phone or watching a baseball game or talking to somebody, whatever I'm doing. Um, but it's very important uh, to focus at the beginning of the game, make sure that you can get down, get your weapons, and get ready to fight so that you don't get taken out by a cheap shot or something dumb just because you weren't paying attention. Uh, so when you're coming down, make sure to look around before you land. Let's say, for example, you're going to Pleasant Park. Make sure to, to get a good scope of the town and make sure no one else is there. And if people are there, try to get an idea of where they're at. Um, a lot of times, you know, if, if I don't see a whole lot of people there, I try to attack quickly um, before the enemies get a chance to get a gun. Sometimes I'll even kind of go savage and land with them, uh, knowing that, you know, I, I feel more comfortable with my ability to play the game now that I've been playing for so long. So I, I feel really comfortable doing 1v1s um, and sometimes even 1v2s, depending on, you know, what skin they're wearing, which is kind of another tip. Uh, hint, hint. Uh, if, if no one's wearing a skin, if they're kind of just using the original Fortnite player, they're probably not so good. Um, <laughs> that's just a side tip there. But pay attention to where people are landing. Um, that way you know you know which ways you can go without having to worry about someone being there. If, you, if you're landing in Pleasant, you're landing in retail, wherever you're going, if you don't see anyone in the area, you can feel comfortable and you can go through all the houses as quick as you possibly can for having to move or get posted up due to where the storm is coming. Um, but pay attention to where people are. Um, it'll make a huge difference. Um, you'll know which direction people are going to be in. Um, you'll be able to see if someone lands at the house next to you so that you're ready in case they try to attack you. It's just all in all, in all very smart uh, to try to, to get a good look around wherever you're landing um, to try to notice where, where the enemies are going to be. The second mistake that a lot of new Fortnite players make is not taking the right supplies. So many people will just take random stuff and not really understand what you need to have. So in my opinion, and I'm sure a lot of you guys will agree, the essentials are having an assault rifle, a shotgun, meds, and shields. Uh, if you're a very, very good player, you don't really worry about meds. Someone like Ninja, who, who rarely carries bandages or med kits, just runs around with minis. Um, but for the most part, the average player should have an assault rifle, a shotgun, some sort of med kit, whether it be bandages, med kits, um, or shields. Uh, preferably minis, if none, big shields, chug jug, whatever you got, uh, it's better than nothing. Um, after that, it's kind of just personal preference. For me, uh, I really enjoy having an assault rifle, a shotgun, followed by a submachine gun. Um, and, and it kind of honestly just goes the way the game is being played. Um, that's kind of my go-to. But sometimes I'll take an RPG over an SMG. Sometimes I'll take the grenade launcher. Sometimes I'll take a sniper. It really depends where I'm at in the game. So if I get an RPG late in the game and I have elevated ground, like I'm on a mountain um, and the enemies are on the ground, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to take an RPG if I kill someone and get it. Uh, maybe if I'm on a big hill and the circle's still fairly big, I'll take uh, a sniper. It, it all depends on where you're at in the game. I'll go into that in more detail um, in future videos. Um, but but so many people don't understand they're kind of just taking stuff that they don't necessarily need I see people taking multiple bandages and multiple med kits like you don't need all that Okay, if you're gonna do that make sure that you have one person just dedicated to carrying all that stuff Because it's so dumb to try to take two things like that or maybe to take two assault rifles Like one of the biggest mistakes that I made when I first started playing the game was I always took two assault rifles Because when I first got on sh days after Fortnite released in my mind I was like you know, I'll take a scar and I'll take a green AR and I'll use the green AR now so that I save the ammo in the scar. But in reality, it's all the same ammo. And that's kind of the new mistake, uh, the newbie mistake that I made when I first got the game back and whenever it came out, a few days after it came out. So um, make sure that you have the right supplies. You can look up more videos that go into greater detail on that. Um, but don't get stuck running around with stuff that you don't need. The third mistake that a lot of players make is not collecting enough materials to build with. Now, I know that a lot of new Fortnite players, some of you guys may be watching this video, are not professional builders. They're not very good at building. I've seen some of you guys comment um, that you suck at building. That's just something that you got to get used to. It's a major part of the game. I know a lot of people have in their heads that, like, you know, building isn't that, you know, I don't need it, right? Like, building's cool. 
it's it's cool and all but but I don't like I'm not worried about building trust me as someone that's been playing this game for way too long building is the most important part of this game and you need to know how to do it the only way you can get better is if you continue to do it you're gonna die a lot you're gonna get in crappy situations and you're gonna look stupid uh, trying to build stuff that's just how it works but if you keep doing it you're gonna get better um, but again like the, the thing that I'm saying is people make so many they, they don't pay attention to the materials that they have and people that even know how to build including myself sometimes don't even pay attention to how many materials I have so make sure that early off in the game when you're not attacking a lot of people unless you get unfortunate and end up in a place where you're just fighting people non-stop throughout the whole game take that free time to collect resources it's so important to have mats so that if someone does start shooting at you you can panic build because if you get in a situation where someone's putting shots down and you don't have any materials, there's nothing you can do. If you're out in the open, you're, you're basically screwed. You can kind of just jump around, try to shoot back. But if you don't have any mats and you can't build, it's kind of useless, right? Like You're kind of just like a, a fish in a barrel. So um, make sure that um, you get plenty of materials when you have free time. Uh, the fourth problem that I see a lot of new Fortnite players making is, is not picking gunfights wisely. And, and it's not even new Fortnite players that make that mistake a lot. It's, it's pretty much everyone. Um, me specifically coming from a game like Call of Duty, I've played Call of Duty for years. Uh, I get a lot of gunfights that I probably shouldn't. Uh, I like to just be really aggressive and attack people. Um, and, and I know for a fact that comes from playing Call of Duty because it's so so fast paced. So when it comes to Fortnite, that's kind of I kind of want to transition my gameplay from that over to Fortnite. Um, but but don't do that. Don't do what I did. Don't make the mistakes that I did. Play it safe and pick your gunfights your gunfights wisely. Um, for example, if you're coming up behind a guy, don't just start shooting at him. You know, kind of kind of create a strategy behind it. Like okay, maybe he's got teammates. Let's figure out if he's got any teammates. Let's figure out if he's gonna stop. Maybe he's gonna stop to heal. Maybe he's gonna stop to destroy a tree or something. Let's not just start shooting at him. Let's let's look at where the storm is. Is the storm chasing me down because he's ahead of me? You know, you got to really f take all those things into factor uh, before attacking someone. Um, because if you start shooting at someone and they, they're good and they turn around and they start building, then you have to build. And if the storm's coming, you're screwed. You have to push them. And that now, now you're at the disadvantage and they know you're there. So um, pick your gunfights wisely. It's really just common sense. It, it doesn't matter how good you are at the game. It's really just common sense. So think about what you're doing and think about the moves that you're making uh, before you actually make them. The fifth and final mistake that I see a lot of new Fortnite players make is not playing aggressive. This is something that I might not be qualified to talk about because I was the guy that was very campy when this game first came out. No longer am I that. <laughs> no longer at all am I that. Uh, me and a lot of my friends, all we do is rush people that we probably shouldn't be rushing. But when the game first came out, um, I was very, very campy. I, I sat in a bush like most new Fortnite players do. Um, I was scared to attack people, and I would make it to the end of the game. I would get to the top five pretty much every game, but I, I would get screwed so many times because when I would make it that far, I would be playing against the best people in the lobby. And as someone that's new to the game, you know, you're not going to get better playing against a dude that's going to kill you in three shots. Like, And don't get me wrong, you are going to get better playing against good people, but, but not, not to that caliber. Me being someone that like hardly ever shoots my gun and then all, all of a sudden going up against you know the top dog in the lobby, it just was not working out. So play aggressive. Don't be afraid to die. Don't be afraid to lose. People are always online telling you like, oh, your stats are garbage. You know, you have this many wins to this many games played. Don't worry about that. Just play the game. Try to get better and overall you'll be fine. It, your stats don't matter. Like, it, I mean, it's cool to have wins. Don't get me wrong. But like, it's like Call of Duty, you know, Call of Duty was fun. And then all of a sudden, you know, the whole KD thing became popular. And everyone was like, oh, what's your kill death ratio? You're trash. You know, you can't have fun on the game anymore. You have to try your hardest. So uh, don't let that discourage you. Play really aggressive. Die a lot. Learn from it. And, uh, and overall, you'll get better. But anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Hopefully, this helps some of you guys out. If you guys have anything else to add on the mistakes that I mentioned in the video, make sure to leave a comment down below. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see all you guys in the next video. Can we be friends?